All right, guys, so we have five loaded up into the mag. We are at 195, uh, 195 yards. And uh, we're going to see how this guy gets on with... Uh, with the uh, JSB's 44.75 grain at 195 yards. Let's see how we do here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the uh, top, the top right target. Let's see how we grew out of 195. one I got a headwind Three. Four. Five. Man, that is not bad for 195 with pellets. Um, JSB's impressed me. Now, I know the ballistics ain't gonna be as high as the slug, but, I mean, uh, we're still gonna check it out. We're gonna see what kind of damage we get at one, at uh, 230 yards with one of these guys. I'll be, uh, after we're done with this here. All right, so next, I'm gonna load up the 44, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the 43.8 grain. And let's see if uh, long range makes it uh, a little more accurate or if it makes it worse. <clears throat> I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my uh, 
43.8 grain loaded We're gonna see what they do at the 195 yard. All right, so we're gonna go to the bottom of that target, of the right side target bottom. See that one hit paper. That one didn't hit paper either. Okay, it was going way high. All right, I'm gonna take another five shots at that because I think it's accurate. Uh, I just don't think that uh, the zero was correct because the BC on that, I mean, the pellet was right on target, but the BC on these uh, slugs are way higher. So for me to get my zero, I decided this gun in with the JSBs at all these long yard at all these long ranges so uh, I didn't see how the slugs were going to perform so we're going to try that again with the uh, with the uh, 43.8 grain and see how they perform all right let's give that another go guys all right I got one down there two three and four okay so i got four in here i got one on paper and we're going to continue from that one all right all right so let's see how they do now all right i got one on paper there and we're going to put four more on top of that hopefully Three. Four. 
four. That's freaking interesting. That is amazing. That's very interesting that it didn't group that good at a hundred. And and the weather condition hasn't changed, guys. I've been just getting a, like a little tailwind and maybe a a, 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 a forward wind. But uh, uh, a tailwind and a headwind. I'm sorry. Uh, but I don't think that would affect it that much at a hundred yards. And then to make it. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. On cut here. Oh. There goes my hundred yard. Okay. And there goes the second. I don't know if you can see where the camera is at. Thanks for my max out zoom there. Oh, okay. Well, okay, but if you see a camera out there, I know the focus is not that good because I'm maxing out my zoom here. But uh, if you see the, the 195 that has the camera right there, that's where I'm at, guys. There's no BSing. I didn't put that any closer. Or shooting at the hundred, not shooting at the hundred. Shooting at the two, the one ninety-five. Oh, let me back this out more. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, yeah, guys, that's just that's crazy. It seems like I'm shooting. It should be like reverse. You know, the 100 yards should look that good, and the 195 should look like the 100s. But I guess uh, you guys out there who do a lot of research on slugs and the uh, science behind it, I guess you guys are right. So at longer ranges, the further you go out, the slug stabilizes more, I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know the science. I just pull the trigger, and I hope it hits its target. Uh, that's amazing. That's amazing, amazing, amazing group. With the one, with the uh, forty, uh, that's the uh, forty-three point eight grain. Amazing, amazing. All right. Uh, let's um, let's give uh, his brother the uh, forty-seven a shot, and let's see how it performs. So far, I'm very satisfied with the pellets at all the ranges. And I was a little skeptical with the 43.8 after I shot the 100. But uh, after I just shot this uh, 195, almost 200 yards, I, I'm... All right, I'll be back. Let me load up the magazine. I got the uh, 47.2s loaded up in the magazine, five shots. hit the top target so I know I'm, I'm holding off on the center on the bottom target but I'm hitting the top target so we're gonna stay with that one I got four in there and we're gonna shoot this guy here and see if we can group it right in there on the top target
three. Four. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, the 47 is going to do good. I don't know what's going on with the 47, but it's definitely not doing its job. All right, so uh, we got the uh, the 43s, man, did excellent at that range. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five here. We're going to load up these uh, hybrids and see what these hybrids can give us at the uh, 195 yard. One, two, One more. But uh, the hybrid's looking pretty good. The hybrid is looking pretty good. All right, let's do one more to make it official five. I knew that uh that third one I pulled and the rest of them are all tidied up the FX hybrids might be a, a good contender for this gun too it did good at 100 and the 195 but don't forget guys look what I'm working with here this is not a bench that I could I can't hold still I got that crosshair jumping very minute but like I said this gun is not hole sensitive, but if you don't hold it firmly and you just let it wobble just a little bit, it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to be there. So we got to take this table into consideration. Uh, but uh, the groups look amazing with the hybrids and the uh, one uh, and the uh, 43.8 grain. Super happy. The pellets did great. The JSBs did great. Uh, I got some reactive targets down there. I'm going to see if uh, I can hit them. One with the JSB and one with the uh, NSA and one. Okay. <laughs> and, a, and a one with these hybrids if I have any left. Behind the bushes, through the woods, into the trees. Let's hit that red Coca-Cola can. Ooh. I just went right over it. Just right over it. Okay. It's a little too.
too high, so we're going to click it down right there. Got it. I think I got it. Woo! All right, guys. I don't know how much camera I got left downrange, but uh, I got my side shot here. I'm gonna try to get it with uh, all three cameras. And uh, if the camera downrange dies, hopefully the side shot will do the work, do the job. But I got two cans of paint downrange and I'm gonna attempt to knock them down at 200 and uh, 30 yards, single load, got enough shots for like four more shots and then I have to refill. So hopefully it don't take four shots. Got them sided in with the JSB, so these slugs here, I don't know what they're gonna really do too much, but I'm using the hybrids right now at this long range, see what they do. All right, let's see. We're gonna go for the bottom can at the bottom. I'll zoom in a little bit more. That looks pretty good. All right, bottom can. Let's see what happens. 230. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, buddy. That's Evo power right there for you. Woo! Woo! Yeah, these hybrids are probably gonna be my long range slug. Uh, but the uh, the damn um, uh, Nielsen 20, uh, 43.2 are also good, good contender. So those might be my two slugs I'll be using at long, long range. But uh, that was one shot, one kill. And that's how we do it here, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate all you watching every time all my videos and uh, just want to give you a big thanks, guys. Uh, as always, God bless America and I'll see you guys on the next round.